Yo, what's up? This is your boy, Derry Branch here, Strike7Sports.com. Today, I just want to um, recap uh, tonight's, uh, show, well, really, it's last night's game between the Memphis Tigers and the SMU Mustangs. Memphis went on to win their fourth straight victory um, during this uh, stretch. They're now on a uh, four game winning streak. They defeated SMU by a score of 99 to 84. It was also Penny Hardaway's 100th victory, career victory as a head coach in college basketball. And also, it was Kendrick Davis playing against his former team. But Davis, as you probably probably have read the quotes from him, he wasn't really concerned about that. And I'm glad he didn't. I'm glad he didn't take it personal. I'm glad he didn't come out and play like, you know, he had to, something to prove to them, you know. But that's neither here nor there. But – Memphis wins this game by a score of 99 to 84. And I must say that, that it was the best they have looked the entire season. I mean, more in particular in regards to conference play. You know, they pretty much got after um, SMU. Uh, SMU is in pretty much a, um, a rebuilding mode, as you can tell. You know, um, Memphis is pretty much, you know, rated two of their best players, um, Jamar Young, who is – Yet step on the court because of the uh, the waiver hasn't gone gone through with the NCAA, and Kendrick Davis, who was the uh, AAC uh, Player of the Year last year, and it looks, it looks like he's going to retain that title, but we'll see. But um, Memphis is now 16, 16 and five on the season overall record, and six and two in the uh, AAC. But um, today's game was um. It was pretty good, man. I was there um, on the scene covering it, taking in the action. Um, Kendrick Davis had 25 points, 11 assists, led all uh, Memphis scores uh, tonight. Well, last night, <laughs> sorry. Keota Kennedy, man, continues to be uh, um, uh, um, an asset for this program. You know, he had uh, 16 points tonight, you know, 4 7 shooting. DeAndre Williams was a little quiet tonight. He had a six to twelve from the field, but finished with thirteen points. You know, but uh, good game for the Tigers tonight, man. Good game, best they've looked all season um, against a uh, conference opponent, um, and it, they did what they're supposed to do tonight. And that was to you know beat up on a really bad team, beat up on a really bad team, and that's what SMU is. You know, when I'm. I'm glad the fans um, was was on hand to see it. You know, um, good crowd tonight. You know, um, good atmosphere. And I think, man, this team is going to turn them, bro. I keep saying this, bro. This team, there's no way this team missed this uh, NCAA tournament. You know, and it continues to get better for them. Things continue to work out in their favor. You know. Um, they're four and zero during this five game stretch leading up to the rematch with Tulane. Um, the next game is against uh Tulsa, which is I believe, that's it, on a Saturday or a Sunday. You got Tulsa next, and my expectation is that they uh win that game and go five and zero. And Tulsa is bad too. F- Tulsa is five and fourteen. Tulsa is five and fourteen on the season. So that game is yeah, it's on a, um on Saturday, I believe, no twenty ninth. But um, good game by Memphis tonight, man. Good game, man. They it, they deserve this victory, you know. And um, looking, for, I'm really looking forward to that rematch with Tulane. You know, really looking forward to that matchup because Tulane has been taught. People in Tulane circles believe that they could that they could finish in second place behind uh, Houston. Right now it's Temple, man. Temple looking really good, man. Temple is clearly is still on the bubble, but they looking really good in the conference, man. They they beat uh they beat it uh you know Houston the other day on Sunday last Sunday. And they second, they in second place in the conference, seven and two. Memphis is in third place right now, six and two. But Memphis, they got to draw that. Memphis got to get them at home, and that's gonna be that might, that might be a tough game for the Tigers. But 
we'll worry about that down the line. But we go back to this game um, with a uh, SMU. So you see Kendrick Davis, he had uh, 25 points tonight. Uh, played 31 minutes. Kyoto Kennedy, you know, he had 21. He played 21 minutes, 16 points. Elijah McCadden, you know, he had a quiet night, you know, five, off night, five points. Didn't get too much out of him tonight. Uh, Kale, 18 minutes. They only, you know, they don't pay him that much minutes in the game. 18 minutes, three rebounds. That's, a, that's a, I would say that's an improvement. Well, no, nah, three rebounds, you know, two blocks. You know, he was a really – Really good today on the blocks on the block shots tonight. You know, um, two block shots, four points. DeAndre Williams was the uh, leading rebounder of the night. He had seven rebounds. Um, D- Kendrick Davis had a uh, no. Yeah, Kendrick Davis the leading rebounder of the night. Six, seven rebounds. DeAndre Williams had six. Um, the bench. I thought the bench played pretty well today. You know, they had a. Uh, Chandler Lawson had 12 points. John DeLawson had seven. Jane Hardaway came through with 12. Uh, Mars, he had five. Chipped in with five points. Franklin, he played 22 minutes. Lawson, Chandler played 25. Jaden played uh, 20. John DeLawson played 19. Um, I thought, you know, the ball moved pretty well tonight. You know, distribution from everybody. You know, it just wasn't, you know, Kendrick. You know, and um, DeAndre, you know, but we get this type of, type of movement on the court. This what can happen, you know, especially against a bad team, you know. And I hope this continues on Saturday against, um, you no, know, on Sunday against S- um, Tulsa. You know, they don't they stay locked in. You know, don't get the big head because. Once that happens, you know, anything can happen in college basketball. When you get, you come in with all that, you know, arrogance and being cocky and other things like that. But you come in locked in and just take care of um, Tulsa this weekend and then get ready. You have the, the long leg, you got the layoff, get the heel up, and get, you get ready for uh, Tulane. Which is, I believe, yeah, next Saturday at the Forum. So that's gonna be a packed crowd, you know. That gonna be a big game, you know. Um, should be a full house. Um, uh, not a, a weekend game on a Saturday. I'm expecting a big crowd. But good night, good game for went for Memphis. You know, it cruised by score of 99 to 84. Congratulations to Coach Hardaway, hundred victory on the year on the, uh, of his career, hundred career victories. They made a video on the uh, the Twitter page for Memphis uh, basketball. You know, v- numerous players, past and present, congratulating them on the victory. Good win tonight, man. Good win for the Tigers, man. I'm glad that you know the program that things are pointing up for this team. You know, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they perform against these um uh, the more tougher tougher uh, opponents in the conference, like a Houston. Um, Tulane looking like they they um they flexing so we'll see how everything is gonna play out you know down the road but Memphis gets their 16th victory of the season 16 win of the uh, season tonight proved to 16 and five get their sixth conference win of the of the of the year proved to six and two they are currently in fourth place in third place in the uh, conference uh, Temple and Houston sit right in front of them. Only one game back, so let's lock in. They'll be ready. All right, that's all I have for y'all for right now. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how y'all feel. How you feel with the win tonight? Do you think this is the best that Memphis has has looked against a conference opponent or just in general? Also, check out Strike7Sports.com for latest content on the NFL, the NBA, and much more. Peace. I'm out.